everybody, Marcos Villegas here with Leo Santa Cruz, who's co-main eventing this Mayweather versus Maidana 2 undercard, taking on Manuel Roman in a fight that you mentioned. Millions of people uh, tuning in to see not only your fight by Mayweather. Uh, are you a little nervous, uh, given given that? Yeah, of course I'm really I'm nervous. Uh, yeah, I'm always so nervous in every fight. Uh, it's, even though you try not to get nervous and stuff, you still get nervous. Not nervous because of the fight, but nervous because of the fans. Because they got millions of people watching you and they expect everything good from you. So that's why we train really hard so we could try and come out and do all that so the fans could go home happy and enjoy the fight. How do you deal with those nerves during fight week? Does it drive you nuts? Or, and how do you, I guess, kind of calm them down so they don't get the best of you? Yeah, no, I just try to calm down. I try to relax and think of the positive things and that the other fans are going to be watching you, but I just mentalize and I want to do good for them. How do you pass the time, do you feel? Uh, that was, was, how, how do you pass the time during this fight week? Oh, I just, uh, my baby's going to come, so I'm going to be spending time with my baby. I'm going to be with her, I think. So I just want to wait for tomorrow to weigh in, and then go eat, go with them, and just relax, and go in my room, and watch TV, and stuff like that. I would think, well, congratulations, first off, on uh, expecting uh, your first child, right? No, second. Your second yeah. child. Uh, that must be even more nervous than yeah. <laughs> fighting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Cause last time, my last fight, uh, uh, no, not my last fight, it was when I had my first baby, and she was born, and then, like, days after, I had to come to a fight, so I really had time to spend her when she was born, but I was almost, she was almost due, and I, I was and with the nerves that, that we were going to be born already, and I had to leave already to Vegas, so I just was hoping that she was born before I left. Yeah. You know, speaking of uh, this opponent, Manuel Roman, it's a guy that you know very well. Uh, when you saw him up there, was it kind of awkward? Yeah, it is kind of awkward, and because seeing a friend, and then now that I have to face him, I have to fight him, and I have to beat him up. Uh, that's a, I feel something, but hey, there's nothing, I can't help it. Once we get up there, we're not friends, we, we have to go out there and destroy each other. You think after the fight, you'll be able to kind of embrace and really be like, hey, you know, nothing personal. This is all business. I hope we could remain friends and all that stuff. Yeah, of course. Yeah, once after the fight, we continue being friends. Nothing personal. And like if nothing happened, we're gonna keep talking to each other and we're gonna keep continue being like that. Now, me as a person, when I get hounded about a certain question, like say like the cable bill, like the cable guy keeps calling me like, you gotta pay the bill, I get annoyed. So I'd imagine you must get so annoyed hearing Frampton, hearing Quig, and hearing Rigandau. Yeah, I know. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> they're saying, and then what I get more annoying enough is they're saying I'm scared. Uh, I'm not scared of nobody. Uh, if I was scared, I wouldn't be boxing. And I'm here to fight whoever. And uh, I wanna fight the best. Cause the best gotta fight the best, so uh, when I hear people saying I'm scared, uh, I feel like that's because uh, there's nothing I could do. Uh, I can't just say, oh yeah, I'm gonna fight him. I, the whole team has to be agree with it. We have to come to an agreement, both camps, and we have to, like, it not only depends on me. Yeah. Out of those three, who do you feel it gets under your skin the most? Uh, Rigan Dux. Yeah? Yeah, he's been... Because of all the, the talk online and all yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, all the talk yeah. and everything, and he's saying that I'm scared uh, to go out there and fight him, but no TV likes watching him, so it's not going to be a, a great m money fight, so I think I, I want to look for the good money fights and the exciting fights that the fans would love. You know, a lot of fans kind of split in terms of how they view him. Uh, some. Uh, express what you said that he's a boring fighter. They hate watching him because it's so slow paced and others appreciate that kind of skill, that kind of technicality. Uh, when you see him fight, do you look at him and be like, ah, this is boring, I can't watch this? Or do you look at it and kind of appreciate what he does? Yeah, no, he, uh, I appreciate because he, he does have good punches, he has great, great boxing style and everything, but he don't really throw that much. He is waiting to counter punch, he's waiting. If he sees somebody going on top, he hugs, he moves a lot, and it's a, it's a boring, but he, he's a great fighter. He has great punch and everything. I can't take that away from him. Well, we hope uh, you get that matchup uh, soon because I know that's the one match that everybody wants to see. It'd be the best against the best in that division. On a last note, the main event, who do you think is going to win and how? Oh, no, the main event is going to be great. I think it's great as the first one. Uh, but maybe I think Mayweather, he's really smart. He's really a great fighter. I think he's going to take it this time easier because he's going to study Maidana. Like how he did with Castillo, the first one it was kind of tough, and then the second one he he won it easy.
Leo, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good luck on Saturday night. Thank I expect you, on the uh, the post fight press conference, you're gonna call out Rigondeau yep. Yep. <laughs> or yeah, Quig or Frampton. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> uh, whoever, uh, whoever the fans want. I know they want more Rigondeaux, but I want to please the fans. Yeah. Leo, thank you very much. Good luck uh, on Saturday. You. This man right next to me, Leo Santa Cruz, taking on Manuel Roman on the Mayweather versus Maidana two undercard.